I'm Holly Hamilton with Garden TV, and we're in the studio with Graham Kerr. It's so nice to see you again. Again? Yes, yes I know. Um, it's getting to be a habit. Now, and you're all dressed in famous colors here. Oh, yes. Well, I thought if I was going to have to compete with a 500,000 um, person a parade yes <laughs> and that I might get somebody who would come to listen to me at exactly the same time that Seattle was celebrating the Seahawks uh, well so I might as well dress for it and and you can't see it but I've got a green sock and a blue sock <laughs> <laughs> now you do you normally go out mismatched like that <laughs> <laughs> no I really don't but I mean I thought since I've gone to that trouble I would share it <laughs> good well uh, you know I've, I've obviously learned a lot about you over the last couple years mm. and uh, you know of course everybody knows you as originally uh, as the past yes yes sure. should I even not say it or? well that's okay I mean you know so long as I'm not fixed in somebody's mind leaping over a chair with a glass of wine right you know and I just have landed mm -hmm. you know I mean I really landed quite a few years ago now it's been 44 years since then since the galloping yes. gourmet I, I, I challenge people is there nothing that you have changed in the last 44 years of your life and um, yeah lots of things changed uh, but that's, that's okay I did it with everything I knew how mm -hmm. when we did it, my wife Trina and I. Well, you were very, uh, if I can use vivacious for uh, terminology for um, a guy, yeah. you were uh, you were just a very big presence on screen. I, it's, I'm, I'm aging myself here just a little bit, but uh, yeah, I uh, yeah. I watched the show um, on PBS. I think it was when I was a when I was okay. a kid. Okay, PBS and, and then CBS and NBC and all the way around the country and. We got to be in 138 countries around the world, which was rather yeah, remarkable pretty at the impressive. time. So you've done an about face though since those years, yes. and tell me about your your mission now. I know we we talked a little bit about it in the sure. past, but your mission now is I think I read something about two pounds of your you would like people yeah. to be consuming yes. two pounds of fruits and vegetables or yes, I, I you know at the present moment the food and agricultural people say uh, of our nation that we consume about 3.2 servings a day. That's about, a serving is about 100 grams. Mm. So if you work that out, it's about 16 ounces as you'd buy it from the store mm -hmm. before you start peeling it. Um, so I want us to go to 32 ounces and I want to do that within six years. How close are you? Um, I, I don't really know. Um, I I'm, suppose there's I'm, no way to really measure that. It's well, more of an encouragement. Do, do you know there really isn't? <laughs> yeah. um, we're so fond of measuring ourselves at almost everything that we do mm -hmm. um, that I think we've become a kind of me, uh, obsessive compulsive about myself, you know, vis-a-vis -vis those average people. Mm -hmm. And all I know is what I do. And yeah. I'm, I'm now on nine servings a day, which is just too short of the 11 that I'd like to be. And I've worked really hard at doing that, and I, I think I have ways to help people to do that. So um, now when you go around and speak to people, what is your primary um, focus? Is it that, or is it, tell well, us. I, <laughs> I think it's gonna have to be the web. Mm -hmm. And um, those people who know and understand the web and understand what it is that I'm trying to do and understand that the species that we have, our human species, is in serious danger of running out of understanding mm -hmm. about how to plant seeds and harvest them and bring them into a kitchen and cook them hmm. nutritionally um, so that we delight each other and nourish each other. And I think we're losing that. And if we don't watch it, we will have lost it by yeah. about 2050. Okay. So, my job is to try and say, if anybody is in the remotely interested in this, mm -hmm. then come to the website and, and we'll explore it together. And I'm actually doing a comparative study between two Chinook, wild Chinook salmon. Okay. And my wife and I. At your, um, at your place? I like yes. Some, yeah. Okay. Um, you know, Chinook salmon are called kings. <laughs> and um, so we are a king and queen salmon. And I speak in the first person, mm -hmm. this is going to be on the web, Okay. Um, and tell you how I feel as a salmon, <laughs> and then, then I sp switch to me and how I feel as a human. Huh. And we are going from inception all the way through to 80 years of age, fighting our way upstream with every impediment that there's known to man, occurs to men, uh -huh. and to salmon. Huh. We put dams in their way and pollution and everything else, and we do the same sort of thing to each other. 
So I want to study what the rites of passage are in the natural sense with a f wonderful um, person oh, oh, saying like a fish. Uh -huh. And then say, how can I be that kind of energy as I am going through the end years of my life against rapids and waterfalls, where does the energy come from? Mm -hmm. You know, right. why, wh where's the survival? Because I want to know how we are going to survive as the fish survives. Right. That's interesting. So what do, you, what do you expect to learn from this? Well, we are putting at the end of every episode a place where people can put their own rites of passage. Okay. They can insert how they felt when they were a kid at school and got their first acquisition. Hmm. Mine was a scout's hat and one of those staves. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, I was so cool, you cannot imagine. <laughs> Um, and I went and stood on this girl's street where a six-year-old mm -hmm. called Sylvia, hoping she'd look out of her window and see me and my hat and stuff. Now, the question is, fish feel like that when, I think, when they get their camouflage on the start okay, of their back as right. a paw. So how do you feel about that? When was your first acquisition mm -hmm. that made you feel a little better about yourself? And how does that spin off through our life and make us marketable people mm -hmm. for other people who want to sell us something where we can stand up and be thought better than we maybe are? It's an interesting concept, um, you know, to bring, to bring about to the public. So it'll be interesting yeah, to read well, what people... Yeah, I mean, I don't have much else to offer. I'm, yeah. I'm you know, I'm, I'm 80 now and, um, and I've got lots of energy and I want mm -hmm. to achieve something and I will die out somewhere in my 90s or earlier, you know, whatever. I don't know. But at least what I must do now is capture the experience of a lifetime mm -hmm. and lay that out for people to see it not so about me, right. but so how it relates to the fish hmm. and how the fish then relates to you and to the reader. It's, I, I, I've got to tell you, it's, it's interesting. we need to know more about the nature that we're ruining mm -hmm. within mm -hmm. ourselves as well as outside. Right, and you, you of course, you know, along with the encouraging people to eat uh, more vegetables and, and fruit, you you have your own yes. garden, and you you yes. you've done some volunteer work with um, yeah. uh, school gardens and local urban sure. gardens. Is that correct? Yeah, Tell me a little I, bit I about mean, that. I mean, I work with churches because I have found out that people are by and large pretty ticked off with Christians nowadays, mm. and I think it's because of um, the media. The media love to typify ourselves of hating homosexuals and hating about everything we hate. Mm -hmm. All right, and they really don't spend much time on what we do to love people. And I think that churches should be hubs that start to move out, bringing things that cause there to be behavior changes that actually cause there to be better health. And one of the single best behavioral changes there is is eating more plant food. And so w I've done this now with two churches and got a three, four, five waiting in the wings to do it, mm -hmm. who are just lovely people who love their neighborhoods. They're not out to preach to anybody or accuse anybody of anything. They just want to share their lives. Good. And you're doing that with schools as well, correct? Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, the, the school children are a must. And if you can teach them at an early age like that and lay the groundwork, the foundation of healthy yes. eating at an early age, I mean, that'll carry them through all well, the way through their the, adulthood. The, the, this is where I get my acronym PIONEER. Mm -hmm. Pass it on now with eagerness, enthusiasm, and resilience. So say that again. PIONEER. Pass it on now with enthusiasm, eagerness, and resilience. Okay. That a bounce back ability. Yeah. In other words, don't stop like doing it. I like it. Keep bouncing. <laughs> okay, so why don't we tell people what your website is? So if they okay. want to look look you up and Thank find you. out more about your fish uh, oh, the fish thing. symbolism now, that's or, called, and also your other things that you Okay. Doing. It's www.flashofsilver, low okay. case in one word, dot net. Okay. So you think of a flash of silver as a salmon going up over the stream. Uh -huh. It's what we see somebody doing something and want to do it too. Okay. That's and that's the idea. That's, that's the title of your book as well, that, your ebook. That, that's the, going to be a trilogy which will be on the web first of all. Okay. And will exist on the web for 65 consecutive weeks 
and then it will go into book form. Okay. But first of all, I will engage with people who understand and share their stories with me. Good. And then if people want to check out your other endeavors, well, where do they find Graham you? Well, that's com. There we go. You that? have been so much fun to talk to. Thank I always you. enjoy it, and well, and your enthusiasm is is contagious. And I think um, if you I, can uh, rub got, some I, of that I, off. A quick story. <laughs> okay. When I was in New Zealand and started on television, mm -hmm. I watched General Sir Brian Horrocks doing a program for BBC, in black and white, called Great Battles of the World, mm -hmm. and also John Betjeman, who was the poet laureate, and he, talking about Manchester marsh gas. Now, there are two completely, oh, forgive me, subjects. <laughs> Both of them were so amazing uh -huh. in their enthusiasm for their subject that I realize that it's what you have, naturally, is that enthusiastic bringing people into the, the, the discussion. People at home need to get out beyond the screen and have people like us encourage them to do so. Okay? Okay. No, I, I, <laughs> I love that. And those, those are good parting words. And we appreciate you being Wonderful. here. And much. we, we hope in 10 years we're going to be talking to you more about oh, all the great things you're doing. that would be lovely when we have achieved 32 hours. Yeah. Ounces. Okay. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> God bless. I'm Holly Hamilton, and you're watching Garden TV.